Zaykor Peter King. Good to see you, man. Been seeing you here at Tacos, putting in that work, man. Solid work. Of course. Also, um, I know you're in camp with Tim Bradley. Um, tell me about this experience. How did this come about? Work with him, helping him prepare for the Pacquiao trilogy belt. Well, it came about from um, I just came to the gym one day, and um, my, my trainer Luis Mundo, he said, "Hey, you like you like moments away from from, from going to Palm Springs, just part with Tim Bradley." And it was just a regular day at the gym for me. I just came in just to really work out, you know. So, I, I, a few minutes went, went by, so I got on the phone, I saw him leave the gym, he came back, from the, he came back in the gym, he said, hey, you got it, you're leaving this weekend, yeah. or this weekend actually, this coming weekend, so I was like, man, so, I mean, the camp was more than what I expected, Tim Bray's a great, he's a great competitive, and a, a great, um, great champion, he's also a great person, you know, I didn't know what to expect, where you go to people training camps, he keep it real small, real nice, real casual and everything. You know, everybody's nice and respectful, you know, so I really took my time. How was the work with him? What did you sense in him? Did you feel he was going to win? Were you... I, felt, I felt like he was going to give it like a more competitive fight than the second fight because yeah. of the, the way Teddy worked with him. Teddy made him more of like a boxer now. So what I tried to do for him was I studied I studied the first two um, fights between them two. I, I just I watched it like multiple times and you know within that first week of me being there I was there for five weeks and I just studied it, you know. So I want to imitate everything Manny does. Everything. So for, for that for that month, basically a lot of things that you saw in, in the third fight, a lot of things I did during sparring for five weeks. You know, I mean, I, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to move that camp, throw my punches like and everything. So when I saw how Tim was, was slipping punches, and how Tim was trying to evade punches and do little pop shots, things I, I didn't really see Bradley do with, um, you know, in the front, of, the, the, the front of his career. Mm -hmm. I knew it, it would be a more competitive fight. I knew Teddy made him more of a, of a boxer to, to get through Manny's, you know, yeah. aggressive style. Tell me about you. How did you get into boxing? I know your brother boxed out in New York. I mean, how, tell me your story. How did you get into this sport? Well, I, I, actually, I actually got into the sport. I really, I really don't know. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like, it just fell on me. You know, when I was um, when I was 12 years old, I saw an a old Chris I see her man fight. I don't even know who he was fighting. Yeah. And that was like the first time she sat down and watched a boxing match. And I just watched it. And, I, and you know, I really, really like Prince's style and everything. You, you, you remember Prince? Oh, yeah. And, and I really, I really like his style. And I was just like, man, like this was kind of, this was kind of cool. And then this um, this lady, she was a neighbor, a friend of my, 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 my grandmother back in um, in um, Lancaster, California. On my 12th birthday, she gave me um, a pair of boxing gloves. I never told her anything about boxing. You know what I mean? She never knew anything about me and boxing. She just saw, oh, this makes a good gift for a boy. And with those gloves, went back to the East Coast later that year, and back in New York. And with those gloves, I just boxed people one hand boxing. You know what I mean? I have a lot of cousins in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We did a lot of one hand boxing. I gave him the, I kept the left. I gave him the right, and we just go at it. And that's that's how it started. And then after like a good year, get my butt kicked by my cousins. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, especially my, my big cousin. You yeah. know what I mean? His name is um, his name is Marcus. Man, he used to tear me up, man. I used to hate boxing, so I kept doing that. You know, and then um, after like a year of that, I said, you know what? How about I just go ahead and enjoy the gym? And that's why I joined New Best Eye Boxing Center up in Brooklyn. Yeah. The rest is just. What, sense. what can we expect in the future from you? I want to keep, you want to expect me to keep improving. I'm going to keep getting better. Every year I'm a better fighter than the previous year. You know what I mean? I never slow down. I never reach a ceiling, which is great because I'm, I'm a little on the older side now. But no one knows it because I, I still look the same. I still move the same. Nothing is different about me other than my improvements. And every year I get better at something. At something. If I feel like I need work on my footwork, I get better at that. Work on hands, I get better at that. So you, you gonna expect a, a, a more, a more excited day from me again. Pro debut you know. coming soon, right? Or to me? Pro debut coming soon? Or? Coming real soon. It's, it's definitely gonna be this summer. Okay. I just don't know exactly the, the date, but it's definitely gonna be the, you know, this summer. Cool. We'll check you out, bro. Until then, I'm just gonna keep doing amateurs until that pro debut coming.